Within two years of trading a job in healthcare for art, Neo's exhibitions were selling out. Blankets she designed for a major homeware brand also sold out, and the demand for her new work astounds her. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, I was expecting you this early. <laughs> Sorry, it's just that when I work, I just become so engrossed in it. I kind of noticed, and you're doing a marvelous job here. Thank you. And what better place to do it than in your very own studio? And you're the first female artist to be here in this establishment. Yeah, it feels so wonderful. And I'm very thankful to be in the studio because I believe that as an artist, one of the most important things, especially as a professional artist, is to have a place where you work from. Because it's very difficult to work from your place because now you can't mess up the carpet, you can't drill in the walls, you know? <laughs> so it's good to finally have a space where I can play and be dirty and just do as much as I possibly can. And I can't wait to show you the kind of work that I'll create from here. Her charcoals are impressive, and the South African Mint commissioned Neo to do a pair of new coins for them. Ooh, it's even in special box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what was the idea behind this? So I was one of the five artists who designed the whole coin range. Uh, I designed two of the two two rank coins. So one is the right to education coin, and then the other is the children's rights coin. And what inspired my designs with the children's rights coin, I designed the children's faces um, trying to capture their mid laughter, to capture the essence of being young and being a child, and to remind us adults to protect that essence of children, because I feel like if we do that, then our future is in the right hands. And I uh, also designed the right to education coin, because it made me think about my own journey of education. When I was in preschool, I wore graduation cap to graduate to grade one and then when I was in varsity I also wore a graduation cap to also graduate and it just reminded me that that journey is just full circle and I also put in a um, building block to remind us that you know primary education is really important and it's something that we need to be reminded of and it's something that we need to protect and also encourage our children to do. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time a little girl has been displayed on a coin. Yes, yes. You know, because this is such a historical moment, I just wanted to be extra historical and just to put in a little girl's face on there because I feel like that is important. Throughout history, our South African history, we never had a female face on any of our currency. And after they gave me this opportunity, I thought that it was important to at least take advantage of that. Yeah. Well, high five to girl power then. Thank you. <laughs> From the charcoal and digital artwork she used for the coin design to the images she created as an art director in the ad industry, this is an all-new second career. I find it quite interesting that you weren't always doing this. You were a medical science student with visual arts as a secondary option. What made you choose this path? The thing is, after studying medical sciences at the University of Pretoria, I worked in healthcare for a few years, right? And then while working in healthcare, I used to spend my day hours researching about art schools and art programs in Johannesburg and South Africa and, and trying to see what I could become involved with. And I remember there was a point where I was busy waking up at 3 a.m. and I'd draw from 3 a.m. till 7 a.m. Uh, and then from 7 a.m. I'd go to the gym and then go to work come back at 7 p.m. and then continue the thing that I started with in the morning. And my brother-in-law actually encouraged me to show my work publicly, and I took that risk. Yeah, the first place that I showed at was an art, at an art market in Pretoria. And then from there, people approached me, and then I started showing in galleries and gaining a bit of a reputation, and demand started growing. And I had to decide between my 9 to 5 and my art, and then I chose the thing that I loved the most. After 12 months of committing to art, Neo was chosen as one of Design and Daba's emerging creatives. And curators like Togo and Tokozo Langa are singing her praises. So guys, this is a piece I was telling you guys about. What I really love about Neo's work is her ability to capture in one phase of time the beauty of emotions that exist within human beings. And I think a lot of artists tend to fail there. And Neo's ability with the most primary medium which is charcoal. The ability to just capture everything in that space, for me, just brings joy. Neo's exhibiting at the Mabato Monso Gallery this month.